एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Uh, in this lecture, we'll be learning about how to sketch an ISO circle, or how to make the isometric view of a circle, namely the front view of uh, the same and the top view of the same. So let's begin with the video. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia. This is the second part of the lecture number twelve. If you want to uh, learn the concepts in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So let's start with the video. This is the second part of the lecture that uh, we'll be starting, and in this part we'll be learning about how to draw the isometric views of the circle. So without wasting any time, let's start uh, the, with the concept. So here. Uh, you have a circle and the concept is somewhat similar to what we have learned in the previous situation but the the only thing that is difficult here is to obtain the points and how to join all the points together i have asked one question in the starting of this video that uh, how do we make the isometric part of the circle so the isometric view of the circle would appear as an ellipse and that production or that uh, representation is being demonstrated by this example in this you have a circle of let's say a specific diameter what we'll do we'll keep this circle in a box or we'll uh, uh, circumscribe uh, this um, with the help of this box and we'll try to superimpose this box initially in the front view similar is the concept that we learned uh, in the previous video so here what happens what happens here we'll we will be drawing one perpendicular and we'll be drawing one uh, um, angular line which is let's say at an angle of 30 degree uh, specifically with the base and from there we have to copy this box which is having the similar dimensions as this circle so we can keep one dimension as fixed or one point as fixed so we can keep this point as fixed open the compass from this to this point and mark the distance here take the parallel line right so make a parallel line again and mark the this distance on the surface and again on this surface and the same so that this uh, front view box is obtained now what next next is to divide this uh, these lines into uh, segments so we have to divide these lines with the help of midpoints so we have the length of the line and we need to divide it into the mid section so for that uh, take your compass measure its length and measure the midpoint or locate the midpoint where it is lying so let's say the midpoint is here so open the compass take this distance and cut that same distance on this line similarly you have to take the midpoint of this line also from this point you have to take the distance and cut it over here similar for c and similar for d now uh, as i told you that the iso circle would appear as an ellipse and it is very difficult to draw the ellipse with free hand so for that we have a set procedure and continuing to that procedure we have the points which i label here as 1 and 2 so these are the opposite corners which are labeled as 1 and 2 now uh, what do i do with these opposite corners so the the procedure says that we need to join these corners with the midpoints so one is joined with a and b so one is to be joined with these two points similarly two is to be joined with d and c so two is joined with d two is joined with c now what to do you have to uh, 
mark these points as 3 and 4. So with the help of these points you can easily draw the ellipse. Now you got all the points uh, together which is uh, 3 point and 4 point. Now the thing which is left is to uh, join the points together so that an ellipse formation occurs. So for that let me use a virtual uh, protector and show you how to make these arcs. So for this what we need to do we need to keep this pointed end of the protector here and pencil end of the protector here on this line. Correct. So this is at the pointed end and this is at the pencil end and we need to draw we need to draw an arc like this. Right. So this leads to the formation of the first arc and similarly for the second arc you have to repeat the similar process. So for this what is to be done you have to keep the pointed end here and the pencil end should be here. Correct. Now considering this distance as the radius you need to draw an arc so that it matches with this D. So you have two arcs which is being formed here then after that uh, what happens I need to join these two together. So for that what I need to do the pointed end here. and the pencil end here so that uh, an arc takes place like this okay so this forms the first part of the arc and similarly for the next part of the arc you have to keep the pointed end here and the pencil end at this particular location on D. And you need to draw an arc like this. This leads to the formation of the isocircle there. So in the similar uh, manner, we will learn about the formation of isocircle for uh, the case of the top view. So for the top view, what uh, is to be done? For the top view, you have to just copy the same box on the surface, which is this surface. So for this, you have to make a base which is uh, which is this line and from this line you have to make two lines which are inclined at an angle of 30 degree to each other. So these two lines are inclined at an angle of 30 degree to each other and uh, this part can be kept as a fixed one. From this you have to keep the distance and mark the arc over here so that this distance is kept as same or the constant as we are making the isometric views. So we have to use the true length. Similarly, you need to keep your mini drafter here and mark that distance and similar for this. So you, that this box is copied entirely. After that, you have to uh, mark the midpoints on these surfaces. Let's say this surface has a midpoint here, somewhere here. So you have to open the compass and mark that distance here similar for the next and similar for the next situation uh, is a similar pattern that we have did in case of this uh, front view example. Afterwards you have to take two points which is number one point and number two point which are the opposite corners and uh, the thing that I have explained the utility of these two points is to join the a point and b point together with this one and two is to be joined with d and c together like this so one is to be joined with a 
वन इज टू बी ज्वाइंट विद बी एंड टू इज टू ज्वाइंट विद डी एंड टू इज टू बी ज्वाइंट विद सी सो दैट दिस लीड टू अनदर पॉइंट फॉर्मेशन विच इज थ्री एंड फोर नाउ द केस विच इज लेफ्ट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द आइसो सर्कल और द एलिप्स सो फॉर दैट आई विल बी यूजिंग कंपस एंड आई विल बी शोइंग यू सो इनिशियली वेन एवर वी आर मेकिंग दीज टू आर्क्स ऑन द सरफेस सो वी नीड टू कीप द कंपस एट द सेंट्रल लेवल सो द कंपस इज टू बी केप्ट हेयर एंड द डिस्टेंस इज टू बी ओपन एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट so this would be the radius that is to be opened and after that what you need to do you need to draw an arc like this on the surface so this arc is being formed on the surface so this is the first part of this iso iso circle and the second half would be the formation of this arc so for that i need to keep uh, the compass over the same surface so i'll be keeping the compass over here and i'll just measure the distance till this point and uh, i need to mark the same distance and just draw an arc so for this i'll be drawing an arc so that this iso circle takes place so this iso circle has taken place so we obtained uh, these two sides of uh, the iso circle there and then afterwards what what is to be done in order to join these two together so for that you have to keep the pointed end of the compass here and the pencil end of the compass here and open the compass till this distance and just draw an arc so this is being drawn and similarly you have to keep the pointed end here and the pencil end here and then draw the arc so this is the part uh, which is uh, required in order to draw the iso circle so let me just explain the entire procedure again so i'll be explaining uh, you about the circle you have the circle just copy this uh, circle uh, circumscribed rectangle on the surface uh, make the midpoints of these uh, lines together like a b c and d are the midpoints and then you have the corner points so join the corner points together with these midpoints and here the corner points are also joined with the midpoints similarly take the distances draw the arcs similarly here also you have to copy the rectangle on the uh, iso plane and uh, you have the midpoints with you like a b c and d are the midpoints and you have the corner points which is 1 and 2 1 is to be joined with a 1 is to be joined with b and 2 is joined with d 2 is joined with c and you'll get these points in this what happens you have to keep the pointed end of the compass here and the pencil end here and draw an arc similarly for this you have to keep the pointed end here and the pencil end here and draw an arc and you have this bigger distance so take this bigger distance keep the pointed end here and the pencil end here draw the arc and similarly for the next one also so this is the case in which uh, you would uh, find easy now to draw the iso view isometric view of the circle so with this we come to an end of the second part of the video uh, in which we have learnt uh, the concept of drawing the iso metric view of the circle if you want to uh, learn the concepts in detail you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting uh, like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder